we came out and we didn't play as aggressive as we needed to play tonight. You know, UCLA came out and they did a great job. Uh, you know, I think they they out rebounded us. You know, they shot the ball a lot better than us. Uh, they did a good job. Um, just a rough night all around. Um, I think there were some times in the game we weren't locked in defensively, um, weren't executing well. Obviously, shots weren't falling. I think we shot like 29%. Um, I don't think, oh, I think over 12 in the second half from three. Um, I mean, it's one of those nights shots don't fall, but we, we still got to be able to find a way to, to gut one out when, when shots aren't going down. I wouldn't say lacking confidence. I think we got a confident group of guys. And I mean, we work hard, we're in the gym extra getting our shots and stuff, but I mean, I'd say it was just an off night for us. Um, but I think I'll speak for us as a team. I think we can all be better about getting in the gym even more, um, just working on our own craft more. Well, I mean, obviously, uh, obviously we wanted to win, you know, we're all competitors. We've been working, you know, <laughs> we've been working our whole lives, you know, to win these games. And, uh, it's obviously going to be better if we win, but with that being said, you know, we've been down before and we bounced right back, um, and this is no different. But uh, they were the bigger, stronger, physical, more physical team, and, uh, and we really struggled against their style. Uh, say, did you see this coming? Uh, absolutely. Not that I saw a loss coming, but I knew that the way they play would be very difficult for the makeup of our team, uh, and uh, and it was. And hopefully we'll be better the next time we play them, but we have to bounce back, go to uh, the Bay Area on the road, and see if we can get a road victory at Cal. I don't want to point towards, you know, our preparation as the reason we lost. You know, the game starts at 8 o'clock on Saturday, and, you know, it's a big game. It's a nationally televised game. Uh, clearly we had a lot of respect for UCLA. Uh, I knew that their style would be problematic uh, for certain guys and just our team. But, uh, you know, you hope that as the game wears on, you get used to it. You're playing at home and you have a lot of different players that can step up. But, you know, we were 0 for 12 in the second half from three. And we were 3 for 19 from two in the first half. I mean, if, if you don't run, have any defense against you, as good as UCLA's defense might have been, if you're just in the gym five on zero, it's, it, I mean, you think about, think about how, how hard it is to miss, to miss 16 shots of the 19 from two and then, you know, the 12 twos, you know, in, in, the, in the second half. I mean, uh, it, was, it was hard. And I also think that UCLA did a really good job on offense. If you look at their – Second half offense, they were 13 of 22, three for seven from three, seven for eight from the line. Uh, if it wasn't for their turnovers, you know, they would have had a much, much bigger night. But uh, we just uh, – we got beat on defense, we got beat on offense, and we have a couple guys that certainly really struggled here tonight. No, um, you know, we have, we have uh, you know, our three most of everything, most minutes played, most – point total uh, freshman guys. Um, and, man, thank goodness we have them. They've done a great job. But, uh, you know, when you're, when you're riding their, their production every day and every game, uh, there's going to be some, some ups and downs. And, and we have some other guys, really, that are struggling. I think, you know, Dylan obviously struggling with his shot. I think he's missed about 20 in a row. But, you know, Dylan's six five, and he's that one wing player that can really help us defensively. And you know, our our subs are much smaller, so it's tough just to to go without him because you know we trust him on defense, and he's also had some really good moments on offense this season. And hopefully, he can uh, get his confidence back. That's again, like I told you guys a couple weeks ago, you want your team to have confidence. Uh, we certainly didn't look like we had confidence tonight. And, that's on me. That's my job as the coach. No, they're just very physical. You know, when you shoot the percentage that, that we shot, you would say, well, they're a shot-blocking team. You know, they play above the rim. and We've played against teams like that. They had one, one block. They had one block. I mean, we, we missed now some, some layups, right? Kind of used the analogy a second ago, like, 
I mean, there are very similar shots that you're getting when there's no defense. You know, it's you know, drive, no one there, miss. And we had one of those nights. And uh, when you have one of those nights, you're going to have to win another way. And uh, when we couldn't we couldn't win the other way. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're trying – we're really trying to be good at both sides of the ball. And uh, I thought on our Washington trip away from home, that was the overall best defense we've played all season. And then uh, we got two great victories away from home on nights when the ball wasn't necessarily going in, kind of like tonight, got some good looks, didn't go in. But for about maybe 28 or 30 minutes of USC, we were, we were solid. But we had a hard time playing hard the entirety. And when you play against a team like UCLA and UCLA, they play hard. And they played hard tonight. Uh, the advantage is going to go to them. And uh, I thought they were the tougher, stronger, harder playing team on drives, around the rim. And again, all you had to do is watch it. One-on-one -on -one drives when we were on defense, uh, shots around the basket in some of our drives where we were begging for a foul. And like always, we miss some, some point-blank shots. We miss some good shots as well.